welcome to another episode of Can We Just Talk with myself, Cherie, Jonathan, Dion and Marcus. So today our topic is Jack of All Trades, but can you fit me in? So guys, what does that statement actually mean to you? Mrs. Ray. Oh, me first. Why, thank you. <laughs> um, what does that mean to me? Well, Jack of All Trades... Um, I suppose I can only speak from a mother's point of view and as a mother, as a wife, as a daughter, as a sister, as a friend, there's so many different as roles counselor. as a counsellor, as a teacher, as a, you know, there's so many different roles that you have to, you have to fill. There's so many different job roles that you have to, you have to be to get by, you know, and um, unfortunately it's really sad, but it's so easy for wife to kind of slip to the to, uh, by the wayside, you know, um, you can you try to be everything for everyone else, and it's so simple, it's so easy to just kind of put your your partner, your husband, your wife on the back burner, mm. and really, it's not fair, is it? So neglect, neglect it is. It's, it's a form of neglect, isn't it? Um, so yeah, that's that that's that's my stance on it. It's diff- it's difficult to fill that that gap but um yeah it needs to be done though so how do we do it well that's it really i think when you think about the jack of all trades and the fact that we put can you fit me in you're too busy being everything for everyone that you forget the most important thing in all of that um with the relationship sort of thing the partner or your wife in my in my situation should be the most important person so i should be trying to to give as much time to that person as possible but when you're too busy trying to do everything else as well you kind of forget about that person um not literally you know they're in my mind they're in my head but you're too busy doing everything that having that quality time that we talked about in another one of our episodes doesn't happen Mm. Um, and it's important for us to do that would you say it's that the expectation is there that they know that they're important and then your spouse knows you know that you love them you care for them and and all of that but at the same time you've got all these other things that you're trying to achieve but they're okay and they know nah it's not enough never enough (laughs) but do you feel like that's that that's the kind of the false kind of mentality that mentality people that people have like oh yeah but they know like they're okay because it, again it's funny that you said that because uh, marcus as you mentioned just a few moments ago in our last episode when we were talking about love languages that is something that many of us just expect our partners to know we just expect you to just know that this is how we are this is what what we expect from you so <sighs> Is it enough to just know? No, and I guess that's where where can we just talk really thrives because we give each other an opportunity to just speak about these things and to just to just share those those things where it's not just a case of knowing, it's about communicating and making sure that you communi- communicate it effectively. And that's that's where the communication comes in, you know. Um there's no point us being quiet um about how we feel um if you're on the receiving end of or I can't even say receiving and if you're just on the end of not actually getting the the physical love or you're not seeing the actual love in action you're seeing them doing all these other things but forgetting about you leaving you on the sidelines it's important to communicate and which is what we talked about whether it's body language whether it's the tone of your speaking and whether it's just saying to them look I'm here I know you're there I appreciate you and I'm busy doing this thing right now but I will make time for you even just hearing those words can also make someone feel a bit more appreciated and know that you haven't forgotten about them. I think what's important to understand about being a jack of all trades is understanding that you can't, being a jack of all trades is you can't master all of them. You basically got to be competent in all of them, but then find one that, which should be your relationship that you try to excel in. Um, but yeah, you got to understand that that, that competency, and because once I feel like you start trying to perfect all of them, that's when you're definitely going to start having neglecting ones in in one more than the other, or you might find it's your relationship that gets neglected because you have the mentality of 
people they can see that I'm working hard. Mm. They can see that you know um, there's a lot going there's on. a lot going on. So they should be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be by standing by your side, but knowing yeah. you're working hard. It's a da- it's a dangerous it's a dangerous game because I guess there's relationships where because they don't see that love and they are just seeing you working to prioritize everything else and everyone else then they start to take a back burner they will feel a way about that mm. and then start to feel well do they actually love me i kind of run that risk of trying to be all things to everyone oh, yeah. but then sometimes i catch myself doing it and i'm like right okay so you it, it kind of forces me to take a step back and just reassess my time and I'll, I'll actually look at my week and say, okay, well, am I making time to, yes, I've got all these shifts booked and Jonathan's got his shifts, but where where can we spend time together? Or, you know, certain you days you've got, be, yeah, because certain table. days you've got your activities with your children, yeah. you know, their extracurricular activities, these kids be busy. So, <laughs> you know, it's kind of bearing that in mind. And then, you know, you might want to see your family and. So it's like, how do you decide what's most important? And sometimes I'll shut DA text like, I need you. I just need to talk to you. <laughs> she, actually does, she actually does send me a text message and say, I need you. <laughs> just please. And it Don't, might be like 15 think... minutes, but that's fine. Okay, yeah, yeah. Prioritise your wife, Jonathan. I think, I think that's what she was saying. <laughs> actually, she was prioritising her friend at oh, that okay. moment. Yeah, oh, like, at that just moment, checking. I just felt like I hadn't spoken to her in so long. And, yeah, yeah. you know, sometimes it's just that little pocket of time, isn't it? Just yeah. here or there. Uh, I suppose the important thing is that it brings out is that you actually do need to organize your life as much as you because I think I'm quite a spontaneous person like I'd rather just get up and decide what I'm doing some days when I want to Uh, if I want to go somewhere then I go if I don't want to go I'm not going to go but then I do have that organization side of things where I know I need to organize certain things so that it runs correctly I think I have that too I think I'm quite spontaneous I love spontaneity um, but I think during COVID time, lockdown and all of that, it was just, my whole life just went out of sync. Everything was upside down, back to front. I mm. didn't know what I'm supposed to do. I was teaching from home. You know, the, the children, I was having to be, I was having to homeschool and to educate them as well. I was also having to try and cook and serve, be, be the dinner lady to, to every, it was just, it was, <laughs> it was. <laughs> terrible and i think now you know now that i am back into work and back into school um routine has been everything and i find that i i do so much better or i achieve so much more now that i have routine yeah but as you say there's a lot of people out there who think think they don't like routine but as 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 much as people say they don't we all have a routine in some way shape or form So no matter how we think we're totally spontaneous, we're not because there is that routine and organisation in place. So with what you were saying, Cherie, it's important that we organise ourselves and our time, time management, so that we put those important things in in place. So what does that look like for you as a couple? How do you share out your labour? How do you do do that? Because you, again, you're both, you both work shifts. Mm -hmm. You've got two children you know, and they're not big grown folk. They're they're on what? Both of them are under two under five, two and yeah, yeah. yeah. So they depend. So they they depend on you for everything. Having a good support network is imperative mm. to our situation. Mm-hmm. Um, we have got into a system where we try and. I don't want to use the word accommodate, but we're very understanding. So like I will, if I'm home and Jonathan's not and I've got a pocket of time, I'll think, okay, can I make things easier for Jonathan in any way for when he comes home? Like, can I make sure that the children are sorted so that he can come in and get himself sorted? Can I make sure that, you know, he's there's something that he can eat before he goes to work or... And it's not, I'm not saying that like, I'm trying to be there and be the perfect wife and do all these things. It's not that. It's just doing small things that will take a task off him so that he can do things a little bit easier. 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's and he'll do things. Isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So he's quite he's quite considerate as well as to you know if I'm coming home late, he'll make sure that everything's sorted. He'll make sure that the kitchen's tidy because mm. he knows that will stress me out to no oh, end. <laughs> and then you know he'll make sure that there's something there that for me to eat and you know then we'll have our quality time together and I think we're quite good at that we're quite good at factoring in you know at least an hour together before we go off and do other things um so that's been I'd say that's I really appreciate that side of things just the fact that we're considerate to each other each other's schedule um and we just try to make things a little bit easier for the other person yeah and I guess where we can spend time together we try and so if you like, it'd be like, oh, oh. So if like, I want to go shopping, I'll say, I'll oh, come shopping. Let's go go shopping together, and everyone. You never want to go shopping, so that's a really bad example. <laughs> no, but it is up when we go like, that's the old Tesco. Nah, I'm not talking about like to like the, the ball ring or shopping centre. <laughs> if we're going food shopping, I'll be like, I'll oh, come. Let's all just go together. Yeah. Okay. Fair. All right. Then yeah. Turn that back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so he was I'll say oh I'm just gonna nip here and be like oh should we all go which sometimes to me in the back of my mind is stress you wanna run out to the yeah to I'm like oh but I know why he's saying it so I'm like okay let's go yeah. that's strange actually that, that particular point is very strange because I find sometimes that might that conversation might come up with myself and Dion and then it's a case of well Okay, you go. You go to shop because I'm thinking that exact thing. You go, just run in and get what you want. But it also gives me a bit of time to try and tidy up a bit more or you do see, something. This is but where, then, you know, but this then, this is where me and Jonathan are very similar, <laughs> and we we say this all the time. So if you if you want to go and check out our YouTube channel and go and watch some of the videos, you will see me and Jonathan agree so on true. many it's things so all the time because I'm like that. I'll say. What you going to the shop without me? <laughs> well, yeah, because I want to just go in and come out. But let's all go. <laughs> because I think that that it's important. We don't get to see each other often. So any little minute that we can grab together, let's go as a family. Yeah. As a family yeah. absolutely. I appreciate that. I appreciate Rather than that. I'll be like, you're just trying to leave me again. I've just seen you and now you're trying to go. <laughs> it's funny you say that about the shopping thing though, because I, I find with Dion that it's like, I just want to get in get what I need and come out. If I go shopping with Dion and the family, but more so Dion, I know I'm going up and down every single aisle. I don't want to go up and down every single aisle. There's a reason why we go up and down every aisle. Yeah, go on, please please let them know. The reason, and I'm sure there are many women who are listening that can agree with me. The reason why is because sometimes you forget to write something down on the list when oh, you're in the so shop rough. and you go, oh, I know there was something. And sometimes I find myself hovering just in an area in the supermarket. Going, I know it's around here. There's something I've forgotten. And then I go, yes, that's what it was. And I will grab it. If I didn't go down that aisle, I'd be at home and then get upset with myself again that I forgot. We, Failure to plan is planning to fail. Yeah, we, we used to do that, but then we, we created a list. And it, there you go. Write it down. Write it down. That's it. The list. The list I can't do it. Right. If you look in your so cupboard, you'll see easier. what you have and what you don't have. Yeah. yeah. You should not. The, most of the time, there's not going to be yeah, something that, that you've had and you've eaten it. And then four weeks later, you're going to decide to go and buy but, it. You're probably going to want to get yeah, it before then. then. If you so stick write to it the down. list, is anybody putting sweet treats on the list nobody's doing that is anyone putting can of ginger beer on the list no nobody's doing that <laughs> you're putting your vegetables and your fruit and your this and your that so the basics are in the house when you come on you open the cupboard now and you want to have your little quality time together and you go oh what we got in there no you're sitting there eating salad leaves and cabbage and, and carrots yeah but we can because have a, we can have some quality time and walk around the shop and get it yeah, and yeah. who's looking after the children? Bring them with us. <sighs> Life Radio. My name is Dion, and you are with the Can We Just Talk team. We're now going to move on to how we can fit each other in. We miss our times with each other sometimes. And so how do we fit each other in? What do you do when you spend your time with that loved one? So I know last on our on our last episode we were talking about how Jonathan and Marcus enjoy spending time on their computer games and on their consoles. PlayStation. <laughs> Xbox. 
whatever. So um, now that we know that this is what you like to do, how can we share that in, in that time? Because we really don't want to sit there and just watch you. So I guess we could play. But is there anything that we could... No, Cherie said no, she's not playing. No. You say that, but if what I had Need for Speed, you're definitely playing and you definitely had your own profile and you were fully into it. <laughs> Stop it. She's playing it on the slide. She probably completed oh, the game two, three times. Yeah, you know. <laughs> she was well, willing. You don't play... Okay, okay, fair. Buy games that we're interested in then. Okay. I agree. Cool. On a real level, in terms of spending time, I think most of the time, me and Dion, it will be when you finally got the kids to bed, we might sit down and watch a program. Which I, I fall asleep halfway through anyway. Yeah. yeah. But it was nice how it started. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? For> real. <laughs> Definitely. Um, COVID has kind of created an opportunity for a lot of people to have those conversations. So to just have a chat, try to build and develop their relationship because those moments where you probably wouldn't even have a little chat, you know, it hasn't got to be a massive conversation, but just talking to each other, seeing how each other is feeling and spending that little moment of watching a program together, even stuff like going for a walk when it was the only thing you were allowed to do, go for a walk, go for a bike ride, go for a run together, all those things that you typically don't get time to do let alone um, make time to do um, so it's so so important that those things have become a necessity as well as uh, it became a priority mm. because you needed to have that san- sanity to get out mm. yeah so hopefully that's kind of imprinted in and instilled in all of our minds and uh, that that's what we need to do some more in some way shape or form yeah, you got you got to almost be, you have to be conscious of not being selfish with your time because you can get wrapped up into, oh my goodness, my day has been so hard. I just need a break. I just need, and yeah, you do need your breaks and you do need time, obviously, to, to get yourself back together. Like Sheree saying about letting, letting each one of us obviously go to Asda or just getting out of the house for, for that second. But you have to understand that, yeah, you've had it just as hard, but your partner's had it hard as well. Mm. Let me throw a spanner in the works then. For those of you that have just tuned in, we are discussing Jack of all trades and can you fit me in? Because it's quite a busy time um, and we are still trying to make our relationship thrive, you know? So I have a bit of a gripe that I need help with. And so if you guys can help me, that would be great. So Marcus, my husband, my Why wonderful... about me again? Because... Oh, no, Marcus is the grunt. He's the grunt. No. So Marcus, <laughs> he's wonderful. But he's wonderful for everyone too. Not just for me, but for everyone. Wow. So that's amazing. It's a, it's a good thing, babes. But... Um, cue the grunt. He is... Yeah, cue the grunt. <laughs> <laughs> but he is very committed. And he's committed to church things as well as... And I, as well as obviously being committed to home life too, but he's not only committed to to God, he's committed to church, he's committed to home. And I think that sometimes the balance isn't right, or sometimes we we lose the, the flow of the home life in with the church life. Now, this is why it's so difficult because I am absolutely all for working in church. I think it is a great thing to do. And and this is probably where it's hard to draw the line because when it talks about the, you know, the Bible talks about temperance, does temperance only refer to things that are not going on in church? Or is does temperance include things church. that happen at church as well? Mm-hmm. You know, because he's 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 an elder. He's, he does youth ministries, you know, he's busy. He is busy generally. So if it's not work, then it's church. If it's not church, it's family. If it's not family, but it's not- Not in that order. It's not Dion. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not Dion. So, but Dion understands that. I understand that because I understand that, you know, you have to get your priorities right. He's busy doing things at, ch- at church and at work and whatnot. And it's almost like, in order to be a supportive wife, you've just got to sit there and watch it. But then, you know, there's the other argument that your first ministry is your home and you've got to get that right first. We've talked about it. Hence, can we just talk? Learning to talk with each other. Um, We talked about it and I guess what I've tried to instill in myself is to um, change my priorities 
to include you more and my family more um it's being able to say no isn't it as yeah. well yeah. sometimes you have to say no and um, do what you can and then other times it would be you know what unfortunately i've got a, a different priority or i've got another priority that's got to you know take mm-hmm. take precedence you know, what, you know what's worked well for us as well though that uh, like even can we just talk can we just talk is something that we do together mm. You know, it's having that it's having that that shared interest that you do something together. Yeah. So even if it is that you're doing things in church, but you're doing it together. So say for example, you know, Jonathan he plays keys and he plays keys very well. Praise the Lord! It's not my <laughs> skill. I would like to learn it one day in Jesus' name. But you can play. Cherie can sing. That's something you can do together. Marcus and I, we both sing, so we can do that together. So I think that's kind of my way of 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 getting around that issue yeah. but there may be other people who are listening but don't have that same experience where they can do things together yeah 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 I've, I've, again it's just important that you you manage those priorities you got to manage people because there will be people that aren't in the same aren't in the same boat as you don't yes, don't go through the that. same situation so they don't understand. actually understand the pressures the stresses the things that are involved or or it might be that they're older than you so therefore they've been there but have forgotten what it was like yeah. Sheree and I we say this to each other all the time actually yeah. coming to think of it you know we say start, because we put in yeah. 100% <laughs> effort mm. we expect other people expect to be doing exactly yeah. the same and yeah, to give yeah, that yeah. kind of commitment don't, back don't judge people by your own standards don't yeah. judge yeah. people by your own standards I think um, just like following on from what Marcus was saying as well like people may be in the same situation as us but have a different expectation Mm. and I think that can cause a problem because where we're very similar to you in the way that we work as a couple you know we would never have a ridiculous expectation of you guys (laughs) like oh yeah let's all go away for you know seven days let's leave the children and um, we'll do it next month for, like it's not it's not practical yeah, like yeah, come yeah, on yeah. but we would never ask that of you because it's not practical for us and we know it's not practical for you mm-hmm. there are definitely people out there who it is practical for and they, can just do it. and they can just do it and i think the problem is sometimes when we're being asked things you know we're probably being asked to do something by someone that doesn't have the same standards or the same priorities as us so it is finding a way to explain that actually that doesn't quite work with my situation yeah. so you know finding a way to say no but explaining why yeah um so that you kind of you almost have to do that as well so that it doesn't become a recurring thing yeah, yeah, yeah. because you don't want you know your work to con- constantly be putting pressures on you because they think it's okay because you might have said yes once and now it's like oh yeah we'll just keep asking yeah, yeah. this person to constantly be doing this thing it's it's kind of knowing together within our relationship within our household what our limits are and how where the kind of flex is and stick into that yeah yeah because of, you know the more you c- start to give People will just continually take and take and take. This is Jonathan from Can We Just Talk? So we've been talking about jack of all trades. Can you fit me in? Is it important to make time for ourselves? Everybody needs a little bit of me time. I think it's so important that um, everyone does have me time. So in answer to that question straight off the bat yes it is important to make time for yourself what if my me time wants to be we time me time me me time is not we time only when you turn the m upside down is it we time (laughs) so then maybe we should turn our life upside down well it's already upside down no it's okay it's okay (laughs) but no you need me time exactly everyone needs me time we've already talked about having we time and and how we can fit each other in and the importance of it um, but we've also got to allow in order to allow our relationships to develop and our relationships to be um, better we need to allow me time as well mm-hmm. so I let you go and do something and I go and do something and then we can bring it back together again but you need to kind of give each other some space so it's very important what does what does me time look like in a, on a on a busy day 
How long is me? How, yeah, how long? How, how do you how do you quantify it? Well, put it this way: sometimes I, I sometimes I take me time by, and I know Dion. Careful now. Yeah, Careful now. I know. <laughs> I know Dion. I know Dion kind of gets a bit like, "Come on, come on, you gotta, you're doing this now. When you supposed to do that?" But I'm like, I just stop for a minute and take two to five minutes to do nothing, so let's nothing put at some all. Context oh, okay. to the situation. Time. Yeah, man. Marcus let's time. put some context to the situation yeah. because clearly Marcus time is different to me time. Okay, <laughs> so right now I'm currently I'm currently calling Marcus half hour. <laughs> and I'm calling him half because he's doing half a job. So if he's doing the painting, he will stop to have Marcus time. No, Don't wait. stop when you got no. to have Marcus time because you Marcus, t- that's you bad time. It. Exactly. Let's put point. a bit of context on that it again, please. <laughs> so some additional <laughs> some additional context for everybody <laughs> is that I will take the Marcus time after I've painted a whole wall and it needs one to two hours to dry or three to four hours to dry if you read the tin. Okay. So, so I, I think that's fair. Because it, it, let, let's say you're painting this room, this room, you know, normal box room, four walls. So you just painted two walls and you need, you know you need to paint the other two. I think it's fine to have a to have an hour Why me time. an hour? Carry on. And yes. Do, and, and, no, because and do the, hour. the first thing is you want perfection. You don't want a rush job. So if, it, if you all get halfway through, and you feel, hold on a second. Can you just stop supporting the cause. I need, a, I, need, I need a bit of time here. Thank take you. take your time, I think. This is yeah. not men's ministry, so, you know. So, <laughs> <laughs> supporting the brotherhood. What is this? <laughs> like, get the job done. So, it's, so yeah, okay. So that was, a, that was a good example of doing two of the walls, but not doing the other two. Because you're the having a break. The two can still break. be done. Yeah, but you're having a break. So like, okay. Marcus will be say for example he'll be putting away the dishes. Is this the, the Marcus story? No, no, no. <laughs> right, right now, just for the next just for the next minutes. few minutes. So okay, he might be putting okay. away the dish the dishes from the dishwasher, right? Which is great. I appreciate that, darling. You know, words of affirmation. I appreciate that you're doing that, and I, I want you to continue. Um, so he's doing that, <laughs> but then he'll stop in the middle of it to watch something on his phone or something, which I think is time wasting because I'd be like, well, why did you stop? But there's no rush, Marcus. There's no rush. I'm, I'm right there with Do you. Do you know what, dear? I'm gonna support because <gasps> you're my sister. You're gonna support. I'm who? just, just hear me out. Yes. Just let the job be done. Okay. Hey, just let man. the job be done because it's still, time. babe. It's still gonna be done. You still don't have to do it. And whether he does it now or in seven minutes after the video, still gets done. And you've in saved my yourself. Time. So much stress. You've saved yourself so much stress. No way. Did you really just sing? (laughs) And back in vocal. (laughs) No, uh, seriously. I've learnt this now. So I used to be like that. I'd be like, he hasn't washed up yet. The the dishes are there. He said he was going to wash up, but he's in the living room. Like, why is he not in the kitchen? And I thought, (laughs) I just stopped doing that. It's not. It's just not worth my stress. Okay. He said he's gonna wash up. Wash up, mate. I I'll look defeat. in the kitchen and I'll think this is stressful. So you know what I do? Go and find something else to do. Amen. <laughs> now you. <talking. laughs> now you. Just talking. go upstairs. Put your feet up. Paint your toenails. Do whatever you fancy. <laughs> Get out of the kitchen so you're not thinking about it. And 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 you know what? This is such wise advice that's coming from Sharia. <laughs> Because because unless you're going to pick up the roller or the paintbrush and go and paint the other two walls, I suggest you go and find something to do, dearest. And on that well, note, well. on that note, so basically what you're trying to say, for those of you who have just tuned in once more, we are trying to decide what me time looks like. So basically, me time can be whenever you want me time to be. Whenever it doesn't it's have needed. to whenever it's needed. It doesn't yeah. have to fit into the routine of your household. No. It doesn't have to accommodate anyone else. Nah, you nah, can you're, just getting, you're getting a bit wild. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you're getting a bit overboard now. Well, right? a little bit. well so this is how I feel. <laughs> me time is for me spending an hour in the gym or when jiu-jitsu, I go to jiu-jitsu. That was my me time, but if I could do 10 minute slots. Clear shot, your man. head, man. It's, it's quite efficient, that I think. just seems like time wasting to me. Life Radio. Hi, I'm Cherie from Can We Just Talk? And today we're discussing 
jack of all trades can you fit me in so my question is how do you remain friends as well as partners so in a situation where you're passing ships you have your different careers different shift patterns you know how are we what are some practical suggestions for ourselves and for those that are listening um for just keeping that friendship um keeping that friendship alive i think it's uh, really important that we spend time talking to each other about our days um and letting you know whether my day was good whether my day was bad you know having the little jokes we always find little jokes that we have in the day and that we can't wait to tell each other Sheree will ring me on the way home oh, yeah. <laughs> while i'm at home waiting on she's coming anyway just to tell me <laughs> just to tell me a, a joke she's had at work so i think that's good just just having that time where you're just talking to each other just generally and then getting involved in each other's hobbies like i love to watch P- dr pimple popper videos you know the popping spots and cysts Aww. and abscesses that's so stressful it's <laughs> absolutely lovely and sometimes i'll get Cherie to sit there and just like watch one it really stresses me out and she, and she gets it and as much as it stresses her out she gets involved in it i mean it, 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 involved is a stretch but you know but you know you'll 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 have a look and be like that's disgusting and i'm just like she's just getting in that with me but yeah i think it's good to like share your little hobbies and your fun things with each other as well. I just can't get over what you just said. No, practical ways. Practical yeah. ways. Um, I think they're good points that you've made. I think it's a good point to schedule in time. Mm. I think that's important. And I think especially now where you can't really get to go out much, um, schedule an evening in where you just dress up at home. You're not going anywhere. Put on some music, you know, like make it, make a whole, we, we like to do a lot of role play. Um, so we like to role play and pretend that we're at a restaurant and I'll cook a meal and- I'm glad she clarified that. <laughs> please, <laughs> that we cook, a, we, I'll cook a meal and-, and <laughs> Jonathan, stop laughing so hard. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll cook a meal and you know, it might be that you travel to Italy, we put on Italian music and you'd have, you know, just, just because you can't actually get to go on an aeroplane, yeah. I am pining to go abroad. To get some like this is crazy. And some <laughs> I'm desperate to go abroad. So, hard, <laughs> so yeah. So even little things like that, where you just be a little bit more creative. Yeah. And I think that's easy for me as well, being a primary school teacher, because that's what I do. Mm. That's important as well. Just being creative. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have to cost you a lot of money. You don't have to go and you know hit amazon and order a load of props to recreate a different scene in your house you like just you, need an imagination. you just exactly. need yeah exactly. yeah you i'd say need that an imagination exactly yeah i mean I'm, I'm trying to think of situations um for myself and dion where um even before lockdown and everything i know at times we were like passing ships um, and i'm sure jonathan and sheree have the same situation yeah, with their shift work. work which is probably even worse um but we, we kind of realise the importance of trying to make some form of time for each other. And it makes those moments even more precious. Mm. Like, you know, you're not, you're not wasting time with each other. Yeah. Mm. It, those, those moments are so precious. Mm. And so we just you just got to just grab them wherever you can. Something really simple that we do that I don't... It's only on reflection now, talking with you guys. We're like looking back at photos... Aww. Like, because let's face it, if you look at how many photos are in your, your yeah. camera, like, yeah. like, I'll look at mine now, it's ridiculous. And when we sit there, and sometimes we'll just, I mean, I've got in my photo album, my main one, 8,813 photos. Oh, wow. Mate, I'm like, sure I'm somewhere. I'm telling you, if you scroll all the way back, and just, you know, while you're sitting there, or you know, those times where you're like, you haven't, you're not quite ready for bed, but it's like, oh, should we go up now? And then just sitting there and going through, looking at pictures of, like sharing memories when we just um, moved house or holidays that we went on. And just, mm. you know, when you start to scroll through and look back at your journey in photo form, mm. you, you find yourself having quite a few laughs actually. Obviously this day and age is videos and you know, you can watch videos or stuff, but pictures, you've got to then use your imagination to take yourself back to, yeah. to where, where it was, yeah. what you did, what was going on. And the expressions on your face, and why was your face like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's good discussion so nice. points. 
And I think it's nice as well, even to look at hard copy pictures, because yeah, our children, so they haven't grown up yeah, with yeah. that kind of experience, have they? No, you know, no everything is digital. Yeah. Everything, mommy, why is it not coming on the television screen? <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> it's a photo. Exactly. And, and it's <laughs> the quality time again, the time it took for you to actually get the book out and actually go through the pages of the yeah. book. And then when someone turned it over, it's like, whoa, whoa, where's sec? I haven't seen the last yeah. picture on the page yet. <laughs> so take your time yeah. and go through. So it, it's that quality yeah, time again. Yeah. I think that's something that we probably don't even realise. Mm. But actually, it, it, it does provoke that conversation. So that's it for today. You've been listening to Can We Just Talk with Cherie, Jonathan, Dion and myself, Marcus. Marcus.